In this video, we're going to look at how to solve quadratics by using graphs. Now, in a previous video, I've showed you how to solve it whenever it equals zero or equals a number. In this video, we're going to look at slightly more um, complex examples. So, um, just to recap what I covered at the end of the last video, here we've got the graph of y equals x squared minus 2x plus 4. And we can use this graph to solve an equation such as this, x squared minus 2x plus 4 equals 2. And all you do is, if you've got the graph of y equals x squared minus 2x plus 4, so the graph of the expression on the left-hand side of the equation, um, and you've got that's equal to 2, well, if you draw the graph y equals 2 on the graph of also, so let's just draw that now. So y equals 2 is the horizontal line passing through 2 on the y-axis, like so. And um, to find the solutions to this equation, all you need to do is find where those two graphs meet. So you just draw the graph for this, the graph for this, and you find where they meet each other. So here you can see they cross here, and they cross here, and then you just go down and read off the values on the x-axis, and they would be your two solutions. Okay, so that's what I covered at the end of the last video. What I'm now going to do is look at some slightly more um, complex um, examples. So here's our first example. So we've got the graph for y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. And it says by drawing an appropriate uh, straight line, use your graph to find estimates for the solutions of x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals x plus 2. So as you'll notice, our graph here is y equals x squared plus plus 2x minus 3. And that's the graph for the expression on the left-hand side of the equation. Now what we're going to do is we're going to draw this graph here, uh, the graph of y equals x plus 2. Okay, so, um, and when we draw that graph, we find where it meets the quadratic curve, and those point or points will become the solutions. So uh, let's first of all do an xy table. So x, y, um, 0, 1, 2, 3. So to find our y value, we're just going to add 2 to the x value. So adding 2 gives us 2, adding 2 gives us 3, 4, and 5. And plotting those points would be here uh, 1, 3, 2, 4. My next point, I should have really have thought about it. 3 is not on the graph, but you know, we've got 3 points anyway, and they're on a nice straight line. So we'll just align straight through those points. There we go. So that's the graph. The straight line is the graph y equals x plus 2. And we've got our curve y equals x squared plus 2x minus 3. So to solve this equation where you've got x squared plus 2x minus 3 equals x plus 2, we've drawn our graph, our straight line, uh, we've drawn our, we've got our quadratic graph drawn for us. All we need to do is find where they meet each other. So we've got this point here. We've got this point here. So that's where they meet each other. So we just need to find the x values of those two particular coordinates. So we're going to go up here to that point, And we're going to go down from this one to that point. OK, so our points are this one here is 1.8. And this one here is minus 2.8. So our solutions are x equals minus 2.8 or x equals minus, or sorry, x equals 1.8. And that's our two solutions. So that's how you do it. If you've got an equation where you've got a quadratic on one side and either a quadratic or linear on the other side, if you draw the two graphs and find where they cross each other, um, they will be your solutions. Okay, let's have a look at another example. All right, so let's have a look at our second example. This time it says, showing us the graph of the uh, curve y equals x squared minus x minus 2. And it says, by drawing an appropriate straight line, use your graph to find estimates for the solutions of x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. Now, as you notice, this um, the graph we've been given is completely different to the expression on the left-hand side of the equation. So what we're going to do is we're going to consider our last example. In our last example, the equation that we had to solve and the actual curve we've been given, they're both um, obviously the same. We had our x squared plus 2x minus 3, x squared plus 2x minus 3. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to use this, okay, our x squared minus x minus 2. Okay, now what we're going to do is we're going to put it equal to something. Okay, because as we see, our equation is x squared minus 2x minus 1. Now, well, if we had something here and we took it away from both sides, we could end up with this equation here. Okay, so we just need to figure out what would be here so that if we took it away from both sides, we would get to x squared minus 2x minus 1 equals 0. 
okay? Now, as you can see here, we've got minus x, and then it goes to minus 2x. That means we're going to be taking away another x. We're going to be taking away an x to get from here to here. Now, that means that if we have an x on this side of the equation, that means that we would have an x on this side of the equation so that we would take it away from both sides to get 0, okay? So what else have we got? We've got a number, okay? Because as you can see here, we've got minus two and we need to get to minus one. Now to get from minus two to minus one, you actually add one, okay? So that means that we're gonna to need to add one to both sides of the equation. Now, if we're adding one to both sides of the equation, that means that it's gonna to have to be a minus one here because if you add one to minus one, you get zero. So if we had x squared minus x minus two equals x minus one, you've got the graph we've been given on the left hand side of the equation. We've got a straight line we can draw. And we also know that if we take this x minus, or if we take away x from both sides of the equation and we add one to both sides of the equation, you get the same equation that we want to solve. Okay, so let's draw this graph, our x minus one. So we're gonna draw y equals x minus one. Done a little xy table, xy, zero, one, two. We're gonna take away one from all of them. So minus one, zero, and one. So plotting those, 0, minus 1, 1, 0, 2, 1. And we just draw a straight line through them. And we find where they meet each other. So they meet here, and they meet here. And we just need to see what points they are. So if we draw a line straight down here, a line straight up here, we'll get our points. So we've got here, what are these going up in? They're going up in 0.2s, so it's going to be 2.4. And this one, they're going down in 0.2s, so it's going to be minus 0.4. And that's our solutions. X equals minus 0.4 or X equals 2.4. Okay, so the main thing is if you've been given a quadratic um, uh, graph or y equals and you've got an equation that you need to solve by using an appropriate straight line and it doesn't clearly equal that, what you can do is find out what the linear would be on the other side or even possibly a quadratic and you could draw that. Okay, let's have a look at another example just to go through it again. So here we've got the graph y equals 2x squared minus x minus 2. And it says by drawing an appropriate straight line, use your graph to find the estimates for the solutions of 2x squared minus 4x minus 3 equals 0. Now clearly, this quadratic is not the same as this quadratic here. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to, um, we're going to write this 2x squared minus x minus 2. And it's going to equal something. It's going to equal a linear expression, a straight line, a something x and a number. And it's uh, whenever we take it away or add it to both sides, we're going to get to our 2x squared minus 4x minus 3 equals 0. So we just need to think how we get from here to here, here to here, and then that would help us work out what this expression will be on the right hand side of the equation. So to get from minus x to minus 4x, we would take away 3x's. Now if you're taking away 3x's from both sides of the equation, that means that it's going to have to be a 3x here. And next, to get from minus 2 to minus 3, you take away 1. So that means that you're going to be taking away 1 from both sides of the equation. So that means that must be a plus 1. So the straight line graph we're going to draw is y equals 3x plus 1. So let's draw that graph. Uh, xy table, xy, 0, 1, 2, times by 3, add 1, 1, times by 3, add 1, 4, times by 3, add 1, 7. So 0, 1, uh, 1, 4, and 2, 7. Okay, and we're going to draw a nice straight line through those. Okay, and to then find our solutions, our approximate solutions or estimates for the solutions, we just find where they meet each other. So they cross here and here, and we go down. We go up. And we get our solutions, which are 2.5 and minus... 0.6. So x equals minus 0.6 or x equals 2.5. And that's it.